Hey guys, here's the NES Classic. Now there are a lot of ways to modify the menu, and today I'm going to show you how. Alright, to get your music, you're going to want to go to the Hack Cheat 2 folder, go to user underscore mods, go to music underscore hack dot h mod, and you'll see music dot wav. You have to replace this file with another wav file, or any PCM file. In order to get a WAV file, I use this website, which I'll link down in the description. To use it, just drop in your file, MP3 or whatever it is, into here. Then you can change some settings right here. And then just hit Convert File. Then it'll bring you to this page here, and it'll download it automatically. And then you're going to want to change it to music.wav. Replace the music.wav in music underscore hack.hmod. Once you've got that all set, go to Hack Cheat 2, go to Modules at the top, hit Install Extra Modules, and go down to Music underscore Hack. That's going to be how you install your music. Hit OK. Thank you, NES. Hold the reset button while you press the power switch. After a few seconds, you Everything lined up for the taking. And what I need from them, no favors. And now the music in the menu should be the music that you put in the music.wav file. Go into Hack Chi, go to the top and hit Settings. And you're going to see here Controller Hacks. And the first option is uh, lets you set a button combination to reset, so you don't have to get up every time and hit the reset button to go back to the main menu. And then you have to hit Select Reset Button Combination to set whichever one you want. I have it set to Select and Down. Now this third option here says use select plus A or B to enable auto fare on A or B. That's pretty self-explanatory. The rest of these are pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to go over them. I think you can figure it out. And to save your settings, just go down and hit save settings to NES Mini now. Then you're going to see pages slash folders structure. Go into there and you can either do automatic, um, you know, all these are self-explanatory except here custom show folder manager every time a lot of people like to do that I'm gonna hit that so then when you hit synchronize selected games with the NES it brings up this folders manager now since I don't have that many games I just do original games in the one folder and then in the other folder other games but if you have more games you might want to choose one of these other options now if you go down here you can create your own folder that way you can pretty much categorize them any way that you want now let's say I want to make an SNES category. Right click, create new folder, SNES, and go into the folder. If you click the folder icon right here, that'll let you change your icon. Now I'm doing SNES, so they have most of them already here. Uh, so I'm going to go to SNES USA. Okay. Now here you see new folder, so you can even create folders within folders. It's kind of like folderception. That's pretty cool. So now let's put some SNES games in there. I have mine right here in this folder unsorted. So I'm going to go into there. Now you can either drag and drop or cut and paste. Now that's pretty much it for the folders. Just repeat the same steps for all your folders and you should be fine. Now it's going to go ahead and upload the games just like it normally does. Alright guys, if you want custom themes, go into the description and download uihack.hmod, colorswaphack.hmod, and nesminiskinhack.zip. Once you got those downloaded, extract them. Now these hacks come with the Famicom Mini Skin. But the problem is, it doesn't change the background or the text, so you're going to need colorswaphack.hmod to actually change it to the Famicom Mini background. So copy uihack.hmod and colorswaphack.hmod into your user underscore mods folder. Now go into the uihack.hmod folder, and you're going to see ui.png. This is going to be the file that you want to replace or edit in order to get your custom skin. The only requirement is that your graphics editor supports transparency, so you can't use Microsoft Paint. So go ahead and open up the file. 
and this is what you're going to see. This right here is the save state box. This right here is the top, believe it or not. And this right here is the bottom. The rest are either self-explanatory or I'm not sure what they do. But these are the main ones you want to work with. So we're just going to simply change the color real quick. Then all you need to do is save. Now I already made a skin and if you want to use mine I'm going to leave a link in the description. So once you've saved your modified PNG file go back into HackCheat 2 go to modules hit install extra modules go down to the bottom and see UI hack. Install that and that should apply your custom skin. Now if you're going to want to use the Famicom mini background hit color swap hack and hit OK. Install that too. And that's it. So now that you got everything you need, let's go see what it looks like. So here's my custom skin. As you can hear, I got the Mega Man 2 Wily theme. I'll include the .wav file I'm using in the description. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Now I put a lot of work into this video, so I hope you like it. Check back in for more videos in the future. Peace.